Vector is a quantity with both magnitude and direction, and usually it represents force, tension, and other quantities. So, ang mga vectors, makikita nyo yan usually sa mga problems involving physics. Now, dalawang graph yung pinapakita ko dito, yung first graph, isa sa mga pwedeng um, illustration ng vector. In this case, itong vector nyo ay nasa standard form. And the reason, reason nasa standard form siya kasi yung isa sa mga point or yung end point or initial point niya will be at 0, 0. Tapos dito yung um, terminal point niya will be u sub 1 and u sub 2. Now, initial point na tatawagin ito kasi dito ka nag-start at dito ka naman nag-end. Kaya terminal point yung u sub 1 at u sub 2. Now, ang kaibahan ng Illustration number one sa illustration number two is that mapapansin nyo yung vector nyo nag-move. So, hindi na siya nasa standard position, pero yung inyong initial point ngayon ay tatawagin natin P sub 1 at saka P sub 2 at yung inyong terminal point will be Q sub 1 and Q sub 2. So, itong dalawang to ay parehas na vectors pero magkaiba nga lang ang starting point or initial point niya. Ito ay tinatang na nasa standard form at ito naman yung vector na nasa plane or xy plane. Now, dalawang operations ang um, makukuha natin kapag gumagamit tayo ng vectors. Unang-una, pwede nating i-represent itong mga points na to into vector using this formula. So, ito yung tinatawag na component form ng isang vector. So, yung vector nyo will be q sub 1 minus p sub 1, comma, q sub 2 minus p sub 2. So, from points or yung representation ng points nyo dito sa xy plane, pwede nyo siyang i-represent as vector using this formula. And the magnitude of your vector, basically the length of your vector represented by this notation is equal to the square root of x sub 1 minus p sub 1 squared plus q sub 2 minus p sub 2 squared. So, gagamitin natin itong dalawang formula na to sa mga problems na makikita nyo dito sa vector. So, yung unang example, let's find the component and magnitude of a vector with initial point 3 and negative 2 and terminal point negative 1 and 1. So, alam natin na yung initial point natin which is given dun sa problem is 3 and negative 2. Tatawagin ko siyang p at yung Q naman nyo, yung capital letter Q, will be my terminal point, which is negative 1 and 1. Now, mahalaga na alam nyo yung initial point at saka yung terminal point ng inyong vector kasi dyan magdidepende kung paano nyo mag-change yung mga points nyo into its component. So, to translate yung points into vector, gagamitin natin yung formula in changing two points into its vector form, which is Q sub 1 minus P sub 1 parentheses, and then yung q sub 2 minus p sub 2. So, in this case, dito sa problem na to, ito yung mga p1 and p sub 2 nyo, at ito naman yung q sub 1 and q sub 2. So, initial and terminal. So, here, initial minus terminal will be negative 1 minus 3, negative 1 minus 3, comma, yung susunod yung mga points, which is, Q sub or P sub 2 or Q sub 2 minus P sub 2. So, ayan, meron kayong 1 minus negative 2. And simplifying your operations, meron kang negative 4 and negative 3. So, yung point nyo na given dito sa problem, ang vector form niya will be negative 4 and 3. Now, to find its length or its magnitude, we just need to use the formula na pinakita ko dun sa previous slide, which is the square root of Q minus 1 or Q1 minus P1 squared plus Q sub 2 minus P sub 2 squared. So, basically, ito lang yung gagamitin natin sa para hindi na natin nahabaan yung solution natin, kunin na lang natin si negative 4 kasi siya yung nagre-represent ng Q sub 1 minus P sub 1 nyo kanina and then square it at saka yung 3 and then square it at saka nyo i-add so meron kayong square root of 16 plus 9 is equal to square root of 25. So therefore, yung magnitude or yung length ng inyong vector will be positive 5. So to answer the question, ito yung component ng vector nyo, which is negative 4 and 3, at yung inyo namang magnitude is equal to 5. May mga vectors operations na pwede tayong gamitin para ma-compute natin or ma-solve natin yung mga problems tulad nito. So let's say meron tayong dalawang vectors, yung vector v at vector w. So yung v we have negative 2 and 5. At yung W, we have 3 and 4. So, kailangan natin hanapin using the vector operations kung ano yung value ng 2V, W minus V, 
and v plus 2w. So, yung una nating problem, 2v, all you have to do is to distribute yung 2 doon sa vector v nyo. So, twice of v is basically 2 times negative 2 and 2 times 5. So, para lang kayong nag-perform ng scalar multiplication. So, yung 2v nyo is equal to negative 4 and 10. Dahil, nag-distribute kayo ng 2 doon sa vector v. So, ganyan lang kasimple yung pag- um, solve or pag simplify ng mga vector operations. Kaya yung letter B, W minus V, this is your W which is 3, 4. Ito naman yung inyong V which is negative 2 and 5. Just subtract it. So meron tayong 3 minus negative 2 and 4 minus 5. So to simplify, meron kang vector 5 and negative 1. So ito yung W minus V nyo. 5 per um, comma negative 1. At yung pangatlong operation natin, we have v plus 2w. So, yung v nyo, negative 2 and 5, plus 2w. So, magsiscalar, multiply kayo sa 2w, sa w ng 2. So, you have 3, 4. Now, 2 dun sa outside. So, to do this, you have two steps. Una, distribute nyo yung 2 muna doon sa w, kaya meron tayong 6 and 8. At saka nyo, i-add yung dalawang vectors. So, negative 2 plus 6, and 5 plus 8 will give you 4 and 13. So, ito yung mga vector operations na pwede nyong sagutan using ng mga operations na nabanggit.